Hi friends, brothers and sisters, I'm Anya and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verses 23b to 28. In Tagalog, we have this slang term called pabebe, and it means to act cute or to act shy. I personally know a lot of people who are pabebe, and I noticed that most of the time they act this way because they want to ask for something, or it really happens more when they want something. And we can be that way. We can be shy to ask so something from someone, especially when you know that it might inconvenience them or it might be quite difficult for them to fulfill the request we want to make. But Jesus in our gospel today says, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Jesus is saying, don't be afraid to ask. No. Be free to ask. Honestly, ako naman, hindi naman ako pa bebe. I like being direct to other people and I also like it when others are direct to me, when they talk to me. But I've experienced, you know, speaking with a lot of people who can become pa bebe. And typically, it happens especially among my siblings. So we're six siblings and a, a lot of requests can come in and out. And I don't know if you've had similar experiences, but then yun, when my younger siblings, especially when they want to ask something from me, they can be pabebe. They can act shy, act cute. Sometimes they even throw in a compliment. Oh, ate, ang ganda mo today. You know, some, some things like that. And ako naman, I am the type to respond, oh, ano naman kailangan mo? You know, just say it. Just say what you need and I'll see if I can fulfill what you need or fulfill your request. There are times that I can and there are also times that I can't. And going back to our gospel, Jesus is saying, until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive so that your joy may be complete. Jesus is saying, just call my name and ask. Wag ka na maging pabebe. Just call his name and ask. Because you will receive. And it's interesting also because this verse also calls towards the power of praying in Jesus' name. When we pray, yeah, we usually say in the name of Jesus Christ. And it's quite interesting because when we use the term in the name of, it's actually more of like a representation or representing someone. When you want to say something in the name of someone else, you're representing those person's words. And that's how we also actually want to pray when we ask for Jesus' name or when we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to be people who represent Jesus. And how can we do that? We do that by first knowing who Jesus is. Is what we're praying for something Jesus would pray for? Is what we are asking for something Jesus would also ask? Or what, is it something that Jesus loves and can give? So it takes knowing Jesus to be able to be representatives of him and to pray in his name, to pray in the name of Jesus. And when our desires, and we see that our prayers and desires are holy and things aligned with what Jesus wants, then we can ask for it because we know that it is also what Jesus wants and it's something that he will freely give to us because he loves us. And when we receive these things, we experience a complete joy. So when we pray, brothers and sisters, discern, is this something that Jesus would pray for? Is this something Jesus would also want so that we can pray in his name and represent him? And when we see that this is something holy and desirable, wag ka na maging pabebe. Don't be afraid and just ask for it because Jesus will give it to you freely and you can freely receive it that your joy may be complete. If you have been blessed by the short reflection, remember to like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, I'm Anya. Thank you and God bless you.